Okay, so in this section it's called Making Connections, and it's making connections between confidence intervals and hypothesis testing. So in this case, the Pew Research Center asked a random sample of U.S. adults, does a child need both a father and a mother to grow up happily? 95% confidence interval is given below for P. The proportion of all U.S. adults age 18 to 19 who said yes. And we want to use the interval to determine the conclusion to our hypothesis test. And our hypothesis test, the null hypothesis is that P equals 0.5. The alternative is that it's not equal to 0.5. So in 2010, the 95% confidence interval was 0.478 to 0.473. Well, what we are doing is we're looking to see if the value from the null hypothesis is between the two limits of the confidence interval. And if we look at it, 0.5 would be here in the middle probably a little closer to the 0.478, but it's still between the two limits. So in this case, we do not reject the null hypothesis. Because remember, any values that are within the confidence interval are plausible values. So this is saying that the 0.5 is a plausible value with that confidence interval. Now if we look at the one done in 1997, we have 0.533 to 0.607. And if we look, 0.05 is out here someplace. It's to the left of the confidence interval. So the 0.05 is not within the confidence interval which means, therefore, that it is not a plausible value. So in this case, we are going to reject the null hypothesis because it's not plausible for 